coaches, players, and parents of several youth sports leagues in Palm Coast say their fields of dreams are more like nightmares. They say the city ball fields are downright dangerous to play on. West News Claire Metz met with them on a field at Ralph Carter Park on Rhymefire Drive, where advocates are asking city leaders to invest more in children. The kids with their cleats create a lot of divots in the ground. And says Mad Dog's flag football coach Jay Maxwell, Mother Nature takes care of the rest, flooding rain not only muddying the field at Ralph Carter Park, but creating huge holes players try but often fail to navigate. Injuries, says Coach Jay of the co-ed nonprofit for children 5 to 15, are mounting. You're running full speed and all of a sudden there's a hole in the ground and you just trip in that hole and down you go. Ralph Carter is currently closed as the city seeds the field, but what Palm Coast youth sports advocates say is really needed is grading, sodding, and regular maintenance. Del Arnaud, who coaches the winner's circle team, says city leaders haven't invested in the growing number of children and families that have moved to Palm Coast. They operate like it's still 20 years ago where there were only a couple schools and not that many kids. Coaches say there are three or four city fields available for play, none of them in great shape. And quite frankly, they say this one, Ralph Carter, is the only field with lights for practice and games after hours. The kids are getting hurt. They can't get traction on the field. While Karen Hargraves is thrilled her eight-year-old grandson is playing flag football, she worries about his safety, the safety of the hundreds of other children playing on city fields. I've watched them deteriorate over the years and nothing being done and they're not investing in our children and they need to. City officials say Ralph Carter Field is slated for capital improvements in 2025, but adds they've partnered with the county to create a countywide parks and recreation plan that will prioritize improvements going forward. In Palm Coast Flagler County, Claire Matz, West 2 News.